Hello again. In the first part of this tutorial, we saw how accounts are created and managed under different categories commonly referred to as groups. If you haven't gone through the first part, then here's the link to that tutorial. Please make sure you go through the first part as it is a prerequisite for this tutorial. Now that we have learned how Gnukata manages account heads, let's put them to real use. We are going to see how easy it is to record transactions in GNU Khata. After all, transactions are the core of the business as well as personal bookkeeping. A transaction is a process of recording movement of money between two or more accounts. In double entry bookkeeping, at least one account is debited and at least one account is credited. Debit is often denoted by DR and credit by CR. Let's take a simple example for business. By accounting rules, a cash or bank account is debited when the money comes in and credited otherwise. This is because these are what are called as real accounts. Remember the mantra, debit what comes in, credit what goes out. In our first exercise, we are going to kickstart our business by putting in some cash. However, since we are talking about double entry system, we will need another account at the credit side. Since we are investing money in the company, we will need an account for the initial capital. We already have created the account by the name of startup capital. It can be said that this is owner's personal account as it's the owner's money being invested. So the owner is the giver in this context. This account falls under the personal accounts category. The rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. Since we have received the money, we will create a receipt voucher. In GNU Khata's voucher menu, click on the receipt voucher. You can also press F4 for the same. This is the voucher screen. Note that in Mukata, all vouchers will have same screen. Only the list of accounts to be used on DR and CR side will change as per the standard accounting rules. As you can see, the voucher number and date fields already come filled with default values. For this exercise, let's keep the values same. Now select the cash account in DR dropdown and enter 50,000 as the DR amount. Press enter on the DR amount box. As you can see, the credit drop down has a list of possible choices. Instead of scrolling through the list, you can optionally type the first few characters of the account to be used. Let's type STAR to get the desired account and press enter. You will observe that the amount comes pre-filled. Remember, amounts in both credit and debit side must tally in double entry bookkeeping. So, by default, Nukhata has made sure that the amount is the same. In case you wish to have more than one DR or CR, then you can change the amount and have another row to balance out the amount on the either side. For now, just hit enter. You can optionally fill the narration box which is just a note or remark. Mostly, this comes handy to store important details such as check number or transaction ID if needed. You can press enter and ignore the bank details and press enter to save the voucher. As usual, shortcut is available for save button. As you can see, the voucher got saved. We have done the first transaction using Nukhata. 
you can now apply accounting rules and try out many more transactions. For now, this is Priya Kotak signing off. Goodbye and happy bookkeeping.